I added hit points to my enemies now, so when you shoot at them, they don't immediately explode, but depending on what enemy type it is and how many hit points you give them, you may have to hit them multiple times to get there. So if I show you here, you can see on the right hand side in the inspector, I have this hit point section. This one's set to 10. This is that first enemy that was flying in and hitting you. Some of these, if I even go down to enemy eight, I added like 50 here, you can see at the very bottom. So you have to hit it a bunch of times for that enemy to actually explode. So let me show you how I did that in the code here. It's actually really simple. All it is is basically a new method that I created. It's a process hit method. All I did is say, hey, I need a serialized field on any enemy, right? And I want to start that hit points out at two, right? Two hit points. Now, the problem with this too is that I shoot two lasers and it's going to count both of those laser hits at the same time as two hits. So you got to keep that in mind. Now, what I did below, as I said, when you're processing hit, when the particle collisions or when the particle collides with another object, then you need to process the method process hit, right? Which is basically reduce the hit points by one. Now, obviously, if the hit points get below zero, then we instantiate what we did before, which is the explosions, the effect, and destroying the game object. So really simple thing to do, and I'll show you how it looks here in Unity. I'll fight this main one if I can kill it. I think it's got 10 hit points, so I gotta hit it five times before it flies into me. And then, uh, let's see, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, we did get him. And then some of the spheres at the end, I gave them different kinds of hit points. Um, so they're a little bit harder to kill, but you can kind of see as I aim at them or try to aim at them that, you know, after a few hits, you can kind of destroy them. So really simple update today. What I'm also trying to do is I, I noticed in Blender, see if I have Blender up here, I, I brought all of my ships in because I actually need to go in and I need to change uh, their rotation and their scale and all those things. So I get them all in the same scale and rotation when I pull them into Unity. I think that's the best way to do it. It's a little bit painful, but when you're pulling you know, objects or when you're pulling 3D models from different areas, you got to standardize them. So that's what I'm working on and I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you tomorrow.